two of my uh, greatest sports heroes in, in less than two weeks, Jim McMahon and now Mike Ditka. Coach, how are you doing, brother? Good to see you. All right. Looking good as always. Oh, yeah. I'm hanging in there for all Yeah. Man. Oh, old. come on. You're, uh, you're a competitor. Coach, wherever I go, people always say that, uh, that they want to see you run for governor. What do, what do you say to those people? Uh, you know, there's, not, there's a lot of good people in our society that don't get into politics for the reason that the media scrutinizes a little bit too much. You know, I'm not a saint, but I know, I know how to lead. And, uh, That's right. I, I, I wish some other people in politics understood that. You know, when politicians are elected, and I'm just going to say one thing, when they're elected, yes. they're elected to represent the people, not themselves, right. or not special interests, or not some group that gave them money. Right. They're, they're elected to represent the people of their district, their state, and this country. And if they don't understand that, then they're not good politicians. They're not good leaders. Okay? Thank you, Coach. All right, I you got, got it, it, brother. I got everything out. Thank you. Well, how are you doing, brother? You're doing pretty good in yourself. Are you kidding me? I just met my my hero, the I coach. Know. I was 25 feet from him. I can't. That's um, that's amazing. It, it really is a little uh, mind-boggling, isn't it? Personally, I met my three political heroes. Ronald Reagan uh, shook his hand. John Paul shook his hand. Like Valencia shook his hand.